Alright guys, I am back with another video on how to remove black box color. Um, I have done another one before and I can link that down in the description box below. So just remember that this is done in a professional salon. I am a professional so I kind of know what I'm doing here. So um, we're starting off with very, 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 very black hair. This is my client. She's been dyeing her hair black for quite a while and she was wanting to do a coppery red color and this is the end result that we got. And if you guys can't tell, her hair is still super healthy and just looks absolutely amazing. So I want to go in another time and just show you guys what I do so first I go in with the Pravana color remover now the steps on how to do this are exactly on there what we did is we put it on we put her under the dryer for 25 minutes and did one session and this is how much color it removed out of her hair now you guys can see it definitely did a significant amount but we still need to go in and break up the color because it's just very ununiform and has still some dark spots so what I'm doing is I'm doing a full head application of lightener. Now I'm using lightener that is a uh, Schwartz cough with Olaplex. So we're saving the integrity of her hair so we don't have to worry about her hair um, just getting really, really damaged because this is quite a few chemical processes. But what's great is when you go in with the color remover first, it's going to remove a lot of that color buildup that just creates another barrier for a lightener to break through. So doing that in the first step is the most helpful thing that I can say when you're removing really dark colors like black box dye. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through four quadrants in her head. I'm just broken up into four sections and I'm applying the lightener basically from roots to ends. Now I'm not doing it on the very root part, so like two, like one to two inches from her head because we're going in with a dark brown, so I don't need to lift that per se. I just need the rest of her hair to lift because the end result, we're doing a color melt. So I don't need to lift the things that don't need to be lifted further because that hair just doesn't need to have that additional chemical process done to it. But if the end result that you're going for needs to be lighter on the roots than what the Pravana color extractor removed, I would first do this and then I would go back and do the roots because we know the roots are a hot spot and they tend to lift a lot faster and your ends lift slower. So what I'm doing is I'm really massaging this through the hair so that everything is really saturated and at the end when I'm finished with my whole entire section I'm going back in and applying this. Now I used 30 volume on her hair because she had very strong hair that had a lot of integrity so I wasn't worried about going one with the 30. Um, after I let it sit for about 25 minutes I remixed and added a 40 just to help lift the ends just a little bit more. And you guys can see the color that we got. It's a really great base color. So I rinsed that and then applied Olaplex number two and let that sit for 10 minutes. And then I rinsed that out and went and towel dried her hair. So you guys can see this is what her hair lifted to. So now what we're doing is we're going in and I'm doing her color melt. So to do her color melt, I'm applying her tint onto her roots, just like you would do a regular base tint. And this is definitely going to be like a stretched or smudged root. So I'm following kind of where the lightener of the lighter part, um, like you guys can see me laying this down right now. I I am taking it down to at least that dark spot. And then when I go back up that section, I'm going to be melting it down. So I'm applying it just directly to the dark. And what I do is I like to work my way down my section. And then once I get down to the nape area or the bottom of the section, then I kind of reverse and do the ends and work my way back up. So what I mean is I'm done with that whole section. Now I'm going to be doing the ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt that root area down. And then I'm going to go into my lighter color. So this was the brown. Now I'm going to go into my actual like coppery red tone. I'm going to apply that and then where those two colors meet, I'm going to just rub that back and forth to really melt those two colors together to get that seamless end result. And for this bottom one, I'm going to lay a foil underneath so it's not going to lay against my client's neck and create that scary red line. And in between each color, I'm going to be wiping my hands off. That way I don't have to worry about the brown getting on the ends or the copper getting on the root or anything like that. So I'm taking another section. I'm going to lay down my brown color, kind of pull that down a little bit. And each section, I'm doing the brown and the copper at different heights so that when I like do the color at the very end and brush it out, everything is gonna be very, very soft, so we're not gonna have any harsh lines. So I'm rubbing it through the ends and then blending the two colors that I put together. 
I'm gonna wipe my hands off again just because I like to try to keep things a little bit organized while I'm doing this because these colors can get super messy and there can be stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna bring down another section, apply that brown, bring it down to where I want it to go to and then apply the copper on the ends. And you guys can see that on top of this foil, I'm laying it in sections, not directly on top of each other because there is a melt going on and each one has different um, positions of where I'm putting it. So I don't want them to lay exactly on top of each other. So I'm going to be pulling down a few sections and then I'll be laying down another foil. That way it just kind of keeps it separated. So at the end, you don't have to worry about it um, bleeding all together. Now I'm also pulling out big weaved chunks. I mean like big weaved chunks, like inches. That way I can bring this dark down pretty far. Um, I'm bringing this about two thirds of the way down the hair just so that there gets some really dark pieces in there to give her some really gorgeous dimension because color melts are gonna look more so like an ombre if you don't bring some dark pretty far down to look like a natural low light in the hair. No matter what color you're doing, even if you're laying down, like let's say like purples and pinks, it's still neat to be able to add that dimension with multiple colors going through the hair. So once I have all of this laid on there, you guys can see the color processing. It's gonna be really pretty. So I'm just gonna to continue to do this to the rest of the hair and everything is just artistic placement. So just kind of think when you're getting to the top of the hair, what you want it to look like. When you're getting towards the front of the hair, what you want that to look like, where you want your light and your dark. And you guys can see after we finished that, we just washed it out and we're ended up with this really gorgeous color. Huge progress from having black box dye. I find that lifting out colors that are just really hard with the Pravana Color Extractor and Olaplex just saves the integrity of your client's hair and makes the process, the process even easier. It's a long process and I have another one that you guys can go check out and watch to see another way that I did it ending with an ombre, the sombre color. So go check those out and have fun removing black box dye.